when we do a biomechanics applied to a single tooth like this central incisor and we look at it in three planes of space we have a bracket on the tooth we can use different size wires and apply a single force or a moment of force or a torque but let's talk about the simple force to start with it can have different magnitude different directions and different point of application in relation to the bracket or to the center resistance so obviously when you have these differences you will get vastly different tooth movement and you can calculate knowing this parameter on a single tooth what happens to the bracket and to the tooth at the center resistance in the second part of this video we'll discuss the differences between that kind of force calculations and what happens with the liners thank you When we do a, a liner and we expect and we study the four systems according to the conventional ways from Burstone and Choi and Nanda, these are calculations made from brackets. And when you have a system with a, a liner that we see in green right here, and you insert the aligner, number one, whatever it's gonna be. So the aligner is inserted. What really happens, as you can see, the whole aligner is now enclosing all the teeth, obviously. So all the energy has to stay within this aligner and be dissipated by the tooth movement that is built into. But also you cannot really look at point of applications in the same sense as the conventional fixed brackets because what you get is some form of surface that the aligners will apply a pressure and it makes the calculations very complicated so these are the potential position that the computer has decided to place pressure points on the system and as you can see it's much more complicated this is a surface but again the surface may be slightly bigger and you still is very complicated to understand now where the force system is so there are vast differences when you are using this aligner and you insert it into the teeth you may get all these four systems that are very complicated and become much more undeterminate than with conventional calculations so that's my point i have no real answer on what the biological response of teeth are to these type of forces but i think it should be studied more in details before we tend to apply these conventional force deliveries of brackets and wires to aligners which is a completely different method of moving orthodontically a dentition thank you